Have you heard there's some talk by celeb docs that you change your diet, you can prevent Alzheimer's? If only it were that easy. Is it true? And if not, what are the real risks and the latest research? Dr. Christine, Christina's Denise is a geriatric psychiatrist at UConn Health Center. I knew I was going to almost kind of get it. <laughs> Am I close? You're, you're close. Either. Okay. Thank you for coming. We really appreciate Thank you it. For having me. So let's first of all uh, talk about the fact that um, it, November is Alzheimer's Awareness Month. It's yes. a great time to talk about these things. Mm -hmm. You know, when people hear a claim like that made by a so called celeb doc, mm -hmm. you think instantly, well, great. Thank goodness for that. I'll change my diet and I'm in the clear. Is that true? Well, unfortunately, to be very clear, there is no known prevention for Alzheimer's disease and there is no known cure for Alzheimer's disease. But what we tell our patients at the Yukon Center on Aging is that heart health is brain health. So while we can't prevent or cure Alzheimer's disease, we can take certain steps to make our brains healthier, like having diets low in sodium, low in cholesterol, low in fat, high in fruits and vegetables. You know, a lot of people also think that Alzheimer's, well, it's just a normal part of the aging process. What would you say to people that have that mindset? I think that's the greatest misconception about Alzheimer's disease because so many folks have Alzheimer's, about 40% of people over the age of 85. Five million in the U.S., right? Five million in the U.S. So people assume it's a normal part of aging. That's not true. What is normal is walking into the kitchen once in a while and forgetting why you went in there, putting down your glasses somewhere, you can't remember where you put them. Um, but Alzheimer's disease is a little bit different. It's a memory impairment that gets worse worse over time and it ends up impacting people's ability to function on a daily basis so they might have trouble driving managing their medications balancing their checkbook and at that point it's very likely they have a form of dementia or Alzheimer's disease and it's important to check with your doctor. Okay, you mentioned dementia. Uh, what is the difference between dementia and Alzheimer's? That's a very important distinction. So dementia is a broad category of diseases where people have progressive memory impairments over time. Their memory is getting worse. But there's a, there's a lot of different kinds of dementia. So Alzheimer's disease being the most common is often used interchangeably with the term dementia. But there's many different types. So just like somebody who's diagnosed with cancer would want to know what kind of cancer they have, somebody diagnosed with dementia should ask, well, what kind of dementia is it? Because it might impact their prognosis and their treatment plan. Now, our risk goes up as we age. That's right. But there's also early onset. Yes. So is there um, a genetic component to this? Yes. So early onset Alzheimer's disease is a very rare form of Alzheimer's, affecting people typically below the age of 65. And that tends to run in families. As people get older, beyond the age of 65, then we have late onset Alzheimer's, which is much more common, making up more than 90% of Alzheimer's cases. There's some genetic components to that too, but not as strongly as in the early onset form. So is there anything we can do in terms of prevention? And then I also want to talk about treatment, uh, mm -hmm. options that are available. Mm -hmm. um, so in terms of prevention, there's nothing we can do to 100% prevent Alzheimer's, but again, keeping a healthy diet, getting exercise, staying socially connected, those sort of things are very important. Socially connected, that's interesting. Yes, very much so. Mm. So I think as people get older, oftentimes they retire, they're spending a lot of time in the home, yeah. and if you're not engaging with other people, there's parts of your brain that aren't staying. Active. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. If people want to get more information, where's a good place for them to turn? Um, well, they can certainly visit us at the Yukon Center on Aging. We're right on the Farmington campus. Um, and also the Alzheimer's Association has a wonderful website pl with plenty of resources for both patients and their caregivers. Excellent information. Thank you so much for coming Thank in. We really appreciate me. it.